Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your dedicated PAL world server for Xbox for everybody who got the Xbox update. I know it's not a lot of people out there that know how to do it, so I'm going to tell you. It's pretty simple. So, everything is right here on the PAL world, like they have it on their screen, on their little PAL world tech guide. You just go here and then go to setting up for dedicated servers for Xbox. Um, one important thing that you need to know, you need to have an Xbox Insider account and xbox insider if you want to download the app you just go to the store download the xbox insider you need to have a computer to do this you need to do it on pc you won't be able to do this on xbox so you need to have a friend that has a pc or you or somebody has a pc to be able to set up a dedicated server for xbox so you just go to the insider account anybody can make an insider account it doesn't have to be special then you'll just go to um your previews and it'll be here, Power World will be here. Mine's already, I already did it, so it'll just be here. You go here, you go to Power World, and then you join. And once you join, you go show and you click show an app. And then once you click show an app, it'll take you to Power World. It'll ask you to update it, so you'll update your game. I'm updating mine right now. I just finished making my server and already tested it out. Everything works perfectly fine. So you'll go here, you'll update it, and make your server there. Once you do that, you can go so you'll have to also for this you'll also need to download steam command so you can just look up steam command um, if you look up steam command you can just copy this link right here I'll put it in my description copy this link right here I'll take you to steam command I'll show you right now you go here steam command boom it'll automatically download it for you so you don't gotta do much at all so after that, after you download Steam Command, you'll open it, extract it to any file, doesn't matter. I extracted mine to my downloads. So it's all right here. You'll do that. Then once you go to once you do that, you'll run Steam Command. So I already have mine open right now. So you'll run Steam Command. This is when you'll have to pay real close attention to here. Because this is you'll have to do this step by step. So once you run Steam Command, you'll go right here to where it says and just out the way so you can see downloading dedicated server download the dedicated server I already did it so I can't do it again so you'll just go here you see where it says sync command login anonymous so you'll copy specifically just watch this copy login anonymous we'll copy this go back to sync command paste it it'll say logged in anonymous it'll go through that whole process after that's done just watch this after this is done you'll go back here you'll copy app update two three nine four zero one zero just copy this only don't you don't have to copy the plus or anything just copy this specifically and then go back to see command put it in it's gonna have a lot of files I got to download once it's done download all the files it'll tell you on there give you the okay at the end and after that you're done you don't have to worry about data insider validity because once you did the insider thing on here you skip this whole step right here so don't do that and after that once that's all done you'll get this file right here everything will be put in steam command so you go to steam apps you'll go to common you'll go to pal server and then you will have your server all your information you'll click on pal server you'll run your server so after you run your server i'll show you for example you run your server mine's already made but this is what will pop up after you do it you run your server you'll close it after you close it you see it just messed up my um messed up my uh, download so I gotta restart it again make sure you don't do this while you're downloading it so you run your server after you do that already you run your server all this will pop up if you don't run your server you won't see save the save file so you have to run the server and then close it you'll see the save file you'll see config on GUI log save games you'll go to config you'll go to Windows server and then you'll go scroll all the way down and then you'll find power all settings you go to power world settings right here you'll copy and paste this whole thing so copy all this and then you'll go to power world settings oh that's the two day you go to power world settings click power world settings you'll copy and paste that there so this will allow people to join your um, personal server on xbox so they can just join your server And then once you're done doing that, you'll restart your server again. And that's all. So for everybody who didn't know how to do it, just watch this video, send it to whoever, do all that. After that, all you have to do 
is um, update your game again. Once your game finishes updating, you can log back in and you'll have your own personal server made. That's it. And if you need any help in the comments, I can reply to your comments and help you out.